today I'm gonna do a really, really quick video for you guys um, on the Target registry. Um, little back that they give you guys. I actually was gonna do this video last week, but my baby came one week early and I just got to it right now. We I kind of have everything situated with feeding schedules and everything. So I finally am able to record right now. So I'm just gonna tell you guys what I what comes in this little bag. And if I keep on turning the other way, I have my baby sleeping over there. So if I get up, it's because of that. So this is the little bag, and this is what it comes with when you get it. And I'm just gonna tell you guys what comes inside. There's this Dr. Brown's natural option. Um, this is a bottle. And these bottles are really, really good bottles. I haven't used mine yet just because I have um, some that my baby likes. He doesn't really take bottle right now. He's mostly been breastfeeding. I have been pumping and giving him bottles just so he can get used to it because my daughter really never took in bottles because I am going to go back to work most likely. I'm just saying I am going to go back to work um, in a few months. So when I go back to work, I want him to still, you know, have that experience of being able to drink from a bottle because my daughter did not take it. And it was really hard for us to feed her. Um, she would just take it in the first month, but when she was able to do solid, she didn't take bottle at all. And then there's a Phillips Abbott bottle in there as well. I haven't opened it, but it's in here. You guys can see that. It comes with these little, these little diapers. This is a size one diaper um, from the brand, the Target brand, Up and Up. And this diaper is actually too big for my baby. My baby is newborn, but he's born so, so small. Like, the diapers, newborn diapers are even small on him. So, I mean, he's not really so small. He's not five pounds or anything. He was born um, six pounds, 12 ounces. Right now, he's six fourteen, but it's just he's like so little compared to my daughter. My daughter was seven pounds and three ounces, but she kept on gaining weight like crazy. And him, like he's gained weight too. He lost him in the hospital and then he gained it back. But it's just he's much more smaller than her when she was born. And then you get this little thing of honest diapers and wipes. So it has two um, diapers of number one and then ten wipes. So that's how that looks. You also get this little pamphlet bag, which is pretty cool to throw in your diaper bag. And you open it up, and it comes with one diaper, newborn diaper. And it comes with these little wipes. And then it comes with a lot of little coupons, which is pretty awesome because, you know, you can get $5 off Pampers, diapers, which is amazing, girls. And this is only in Target, but um, who cares? And the wipes. Um, it comes with, for the baby vapor rub, you need this stuff. This is like life changing stuff, the vapor rub, like. I swear to that. If you're Hispanic, you know what I'm talking about. And then it comes with toothpaste as well. But yeah, it comes with this little coupon. Then, let me see what else is in here. Comes with these little, um, this lion. I do not how to know how to pronounce this. But this is my favorite brand, girl. If you guys are looking for breastfeeding stuff and bottles, this is the my favorite brand for that. Like, I have the bottles. Let me just go get them. They're right here. And these are the bottles. Like, the Lion, what is it? Lenasa? No, I don't know how to pronounce this, guys, honestly. But these bottles are like, I swear by these bottles. They're brush shaped. And. My babies love them. 
So like my I'm right now I'm just exclusive of breastfeeding my my son, but um I um try to give him a bottle once in a while whenever his dad is home and he can help me out or he wants to feed him so he can get that experience of feeding him as well. But it comes with these two disposable nursing pads and two breast milk storage bags. I actually need to purchase breast storage bags because I have so much milk, like my milk supply, like it looks like I have like double UVs right now. Like I have so much milk and like it just pours and pours. So I need to start um, saving it for whenever I need it when we go out or also for whenever the baby is going to um, be home. Well, I mean, be taken care of while not work. Then you also get this little nuke pacifier. It's really cute. It's a panda. And then you get this little dope baby sample. Super cute. You get this Avino Baby Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I like little sample stuff like this because you can just throw it in your diaper bag. And if you're going out, um, of course, these, the little body wash, not like you're going to be going somewhere with it. But, like, I like it when they give you little trail size stuff. You can just throw it in your diaper bag and it doesn't take too much space. Up. And then they also give you a little sample of the massage lotion, the stretch mark one. Um, well, I did not get any stretch marks from my son. I already had stretch marks from my daughter, but I used this lotion throughout my whole pregnancy, guys, and this is amazing. It's like, it feels like you're applying, like, so much, um, like, it's kind of, like, buttery feeling, and it feels like, wow, this is so thick, but, like, it does wonders to your skin, and right now, I'm still going to continue using it. I haven't used it just because I've been so busy, like. These past days have been pretty crazy after having the baby because you have to adjust to it with um, having a toddler at home and having a newborn. But now our schedules are just like he sleeps, he eats, he plays for a little. Well, not plays, but he's awake for a little. But he is he knows when he when to sleep. He has a regular sleeping schedule. He lets me sleep throughout the night. So he's a really, really good baby right now. So we just all adjusted to it because in the beginning, like, he would – obviously cry because he was barely born he didn't know you know this is home so i know he knows now that he's been here for like four days he knows this is you know this is home and he's adjusted to it but this is what i recommend for you guys and it's really really cheap actually it's like i got it like for five dollars at the grocery store so it's like five or six dollars and then you also get like um this little aquaphor Healing ointment sample here. And then um, it tells you that you can get um, your insurance may pay for your breast pump. So I actually need, I'm going to do a video all about breastfeeding. And I'm going to talk to you guys about that. I got a breast pump for free through my insurance. So if you guys are looking into that, I'm going to talk about that um, because it is kind of hard sometimes to buy a breast pump because they're really expensive. They're like almost $200. So if your insurance covers it, get it. And then they have coupons for like, it comes with coupons like for this brand that's called Seventh Generation. And then these are just all random, all random um, coupons. So it's like 50% um, off when Starbucks drink. Um, it's like, 40% of two, off two nursing baths, you know, $5 off the Bobby Comfy Baby Carrier. Like, it has all these random coupons. It also just, it has a stretch mark lotion as well. It has razors. It has for pads. Um, it has for body wash, for um, shampoo, um, Kleenex, the baby stuff. And then um, the bottles and all that stuff. So it has really good coupons. It also has this moisturizing daily lotion from Baby Organic. I 
little sample of that. And that was all that is included in this box. Um, and now in this box, in this registry, reg registry bag, you could say, um, a lot of you guys are going to ask which one do I think is better and why. So I think both of them are really good. I think that if you guys are going to do the registry, do both Target and do both Amazon, because these do really good things. And not only that, they provide you with so much coupons. And you know that baby stuff is expensive and you're always running around with baby stuff by going and buying more and more and more. Like for us, um, we expected our baby to be a little bigger just because my daughter was a little bigger. Not too much, but she only fit um, newborn clothes like for a week. So I was like, I'm not really going to buy him any newborn clothes. I just bought him like a few little outfits. And when he was born, like he like his newborn clothes fit him big. So we had to go and go buy him a lot more newborn clothes. So, you know, there's there's a lot of little things like that that you're always spending on. So coupons are always going to be good. And I just think both of them are good. I think that, um, you know, things are going to vary that you're going to get. You might not get the same things as me, but I think they're both good. And they both have coupons. They both have offer. As far as the 15% off, I really didn't like the Target um the Target offers, I mean, they offer it, but they only do it on certain items. And for Amazon on everything, mostly, unless it's from a different, like, different vendor, but it gives you a different option, but it tells you this counts in the registry. And in Target, like, I got the baby a few things from the registry, and, um, like, only certain things counted for the 15% off, and I only got, like, $1 or $2 off, which wasn't so significant to me compared to the Amazon one where I bought most of my, how much, what did I buy? Well, I got like 60 or $70 off. So, I mean, that was a whole lot of money off. And I got his car seat and his stroller. And in the store, like in, in the regular stores, those were like retailing like for 200 or more together. And I was like, nah, I'm not gonna get it from there. I'm gonna check on Amazon first. And I found it on Amazon cheaper than the store, but I still had the 15% off which made it like 130 or less for both my stroller and the baby car seat, which is like a steal for me because it's a good brand. It's a good brand as well. Like it wasn't even like a cheap brand or anything. So that's my input in that girls. And I'll be doing a video soon on breastfeeding because right now I'm going through that phase of where I have so much milk and a lot of people are like, how do you get all this milk? It's just really simple steps that I feel that if you do, you'll produce as much milk as you're supposed to. And it's worked for my two pregnancies. I mean, it's worked for my two kids, so I'm pretty sure it'll work. Um, and I think it's just a lot of dedication, a lot of mind. It's a lot of you pushing through your mind as well, and also a lot of love. Um, if you guys didn't know, the, the what really feeds your milk is the connection that you have between you and your baby and i did not know that until i had my daughter and my doctor told me like you know the most connection that you have with your kid the most love that you feel for them the more love you feel for them the more like it's going to flow and the more it's going to be better so like for me with her like it was such an amazing experience breastfeeding her till she was one and a half she was like one and a half a little bit more past one and a half but we have this amazing bonding till this day. Like, I don't breastfeed her anymore, obviously, but she, you know, she has a connection with me and I have the same connection with my son and it's just so strong, so beautiful. And I wish that every mother could have that connection with their kid. So I'll just share that with you guys. And um, let me know if you guys want me to do a video of how the birth went. It was actually really, really like, compared to my first birth, I feel like this one, so like, which one do you think was more painful? I feel like this one was a lot more painful. I don't know if it's because it was more recent, um, but the contractions really didn't bother me. Like from her, they bothered me a lot. It was just when I got to the pushing stage where I was like, oh my gosh, I was like, I can't do this anymore. And with her, it's like the contractions didn't really bother me. It's like, I mean, the contractions bothered me, but pushing her out didn't. Like I just pushed her out like nothing. But yeah, it was pretty fast birth. If you guys are wondering, like, I'm so happy, I'm blessed that, you know, 
I don't have to be there for two or three days like a lot of people I've heard that are like, oh, I've been there 48 hours trying to give birth and stuff. Thank God it was natural birth too. I didn't have to do C-section. I'm so scared of having ever having to have C-section. So thank God everything went well. But I'm going to, I want to do a video in depth with you guys. So if you guys do want to see that video, just comment down below and I'll get to that. Thank you guys for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. Bye.